A convoy of indigenous rights activists traveled to the capital Bogota determined to meet President Ivan Duque. They want to end the violence that's destroying the communities and complain there's been no peace since revolutionary armed forces of Colombia rebels disarmed, leaving other armed groups and criminal gangs to fill the power vacuum. They also say they're suffering injustice because they haven't been consulted about major development projects on their land. And that's why we've said that this matter is not for one of the ministers to solve. This matter is to be dealt with directly with the President of the Republic. The rights watchdog Indipas says 1,000 community leaders have been killed in the past four years, with 65 mass killings this year alone. The killings have affected indigenous communities worse than others, and some want more autonomy in their homelands to protect themselves. Other Colombians are rallying to their cause. We support the cause of the indigenous struggle of our ancestral peoples because we are against the murder of the social leaders of our country. The government has warned indigenous protesters not to block roads during the recovery after months of coronavirus lockdown. We must remember that the national government respects peaceful dialogue, respectful of the constitution and the law. But native Colombians insist there's no turning back and warn they'll remain on the streets to join a nationwide strike against police brutality as well as the government's handling of the coronavirus outbreak, whether they're allowed to meet the president or not. Barbara Angopa, Al Jazeera.